you're, if I may say so, one of the richest people in the world. So you're a good person to ask, does money buy happiness? No, it's been shown that um, between um, once you get over a basic level of income so that you can take care of the pain, and, you know, you can health and whatever, there's no correlation between the level of happiness that one has and the level of money that one has. The, the, that would, thing that has the highest correlation is quality relationships with others, community. If you look at surveys of these things across all surveys and all societies, it's a, if, um, a, a sense of community and per, interpersonal relationships. That is not in any way correlated with money. You can go down to native tribes in you know, very poor places, or you can go in all different communities. And so they have the opportunity to have that. I'm very lucky in that I started with nothing, so I had the full range. I can tell you, I, I, you know, by not having money, but, but, but and then having quite a lot of money, and I, you know, I did that in the right order. Okay. So you started from nothing in Long Island. Yeah, and my dad was a jazz musician, but I, I but yeah. I had all really that I needed because I had two parents who loved me and took good care of me, and I went to a public school that was a good public school. And basically, you know, that you, you don't need much more than that in order to, that's the equal opportunity part. Anyway, what I'm saying is, no, I experienced the range, and, uh, and there are many studies on the answer to your question. No, money does not bring happiness. Pr it, bring, money gives you an ability to make choices. Does it get in the way, in any way, of forming those deep, meaningful relationships? It can. There are lots of ways that it makes negative. That's one of them. It could stand in the way of that. Yes. Okay. But I could almost list the ways that it could stand. It could be a problem. Yeah. What does it buy? So if you can elaborate, you mentioned f a, a bit of freedom. At the most fundamental level, it doesn't take a whole lot, but it takes enough that um, you can take care of your yourself and your family to be able to learn, do the basics of have the relationships, have health care, the basics of those types of things. You know, you can cover the patients and then to have maybe enough security, but maybe not too much security. <laughs> That's right. That, yeah. that you um, uh, uh, essentially are okay. Okay, that is that's really good, yeah. and you don't. That's what a, that's what money will get you, and everything else is uh, could go either way. There's well, no, no, there's with, more. There's more. Okay, then beyond that, what it then starts to do. That's the most important thing. Yes, but beyond that, what it tends to starts to do is to help to make your dreams happen in various ways. Mm. Okay, so for example, now I, I uh, you know, like in my case. It's a, those dreams might not be just my own dreams, they're, they're impact on others' dreams, mm -hmm. okay? So uh, um, my own dreams might be, um, I don't know, I can pass along these, at my stage in life, I can pass along these principles to you and I can give those things, or I can um, do whatever, it, uh, I can go on an adventure, mm -hmm. I can uh, start a business, I can do those other things, be productive. I can self-actualize mm -hmm. in ways that might be not possible otherwise. And so that's that's my own belief. And then in a and I can also help others. I mean, this is you know to the extent when you get older and with time and whatever, very you start to feel connected. Spiritual spirituality. That's what I'm referring to. You can start to have an effect on others that's beneficial and so on. Gives you the ability. I could tell you that um, pe people who are very wealthy who have that feel that they don't have enough money. Bill Gates mm -hmm. will feel almost broke. Because relative to the things he'd like to accomplish through the Gates Foundation and things like that, you know, oh my God, he doesn't have enough money to accomplish the things he wishes for. But those things are not, you know, they're not the most fundamental things. So I think that people sometimes think money has value. Money doesn't have value. 
And money is, like you say, just a medium of exchange at a store all the well. <laughs> and so what you have yeah. to say is, what is it that you're going to buy? Now, there are other people who get their gratification in ways that are different from me. But I think in many cases, that, let's say somebody who used money to have a status symbol. I What, what, what would I say? Or that, that that's probably unhealthy. But then, I don't know, somebody who says, um, I love a, a great, gorgeous painting. Mm -hmm. And it's going to cost lots of money. In my priorities, I, I, I can't. I can't get there. Yeah. But um, it, but that doesn't mean I don't. Who am I to judge others right. in terms of, let's say, their element of the freedom to do those things? So it's a little bit complicated. But by and large, that you know, that's my view on money and wealth.